This episode is going to be grindy. It's going to involve a lot of digging. And it's going to involve a lot of ocean guardian slaying. Oh yeah, folks. We're going to make some serious, 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 serious progress at our slime farm. Or at least that's the goal. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode with me, Gaz the Grey, on Helam. Last episode we left off, we had done, or we had actually begun our ocean draining process. And we basically did a couple of lines of sand and glass. Very super exciting. In this episode, however, we're going to start things off by heading over to an ocean monument so that we can gather some sponges to make some more progress at the slime farm and hopefully get that thing drained. Let's get straight into it. We are ready to go guardian slaying. As you'll take a look, I have got a whole bunch of potions of water breathing and potions of night vision to make our lives a little bit easier so that we don't have to keep resurfacing. And finally, we actually managed to make ourselves some rockets because we're going to use our elytra to get there because we could finally put mending on it. Although we don't have too many rockets, it should be more than enough for our purposes. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm actually going to be flying out there and the first one that we were all, I'm actually going to be tackling three of them and the first one we have to tackle is east and it's a bit closer to us than the others. And here we have it folks, as you can see there's an ocean monument just beneath us over there. But first things first, let's go and plop our bed down. And then get straight to it. We can drink some on the go, like a pro. So I believe the first one... Oh, oh, oh. So one thing always useful, put down some blocks, break their line of sight. And then they don't actually end up damaging you. So let's... Whoa, there's a lot of them. Yeah, so not not the best start and I seem to be rubber banding, but let's go and actually replace this elytra for a chest piece. Uh, and of course, yeah, should have brought some milk <laughs> anyway. And there we have it, we have defeated our very first Elder Guardian. And we managed to get his head and a single sponge. <laughs> so at least it's a good start. Anyways, I'm gonna do the rest in super fast mode. Let's get it done. then as you could probably tell we managed to get all three elder guardians sort of down but like a noob I forgot to bring with me one of the most important things and we needed quite badly some milk yep some milk and what the milk does basically just gets rid of any effects that are applied to you which includes the night vision and the underwater breathing but that's okay our respiration should get us through most of it and we can always reapply them, we've got tons of them. So let me go and grab some of those milk buckets from some cows and then we'll go get some sponges. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that milk tastes good when you really need it. <laughs> so yep, lost my night vision, lost my underwater breathing, but we came back and we managed to find this, these sponges. Let's see if we can get an angle. Oh, 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 oh. oh we can just do this. So time now 
to oh, once we've killed this guy to get what we came for I'm hoping that there are at least two sponge rooms as I have seen it previously that not all ocean monuments actually have slime or they have the sponge rooms they just don't have sponges so let's get what we came for and get this done oh. Now that we've got all those sponges, 30 sponges, actually a pretty decent find. Uh, we're going to go head off and see if we can find the last mushroom. Okay, so that actually took a whole lot quicker than I was expecting. Normally it takes me forever to find these sponge rooms. But I think once you've killed enough of these ocean monuments, you kind of get the layout of things. So let me grab them. 60 sponges, not a bad find at all, I would say. In fact, that's really, really good. I cannot complain. Maybe we only need to tackle another ocean monument. Only being, or reason being because, yep, slightly greedy I suppose. I would rather have more sponges and not have to run back and forth between furnaces or the nether to dry them. And just dry them out or just have more, yeah. Maybe get a whole row of the slime farm done at once. Anywho, t next on my list is to go and tackle a another two ocean monuments. I'm going to do it anyways. So, I have a feeling that we have found one of those monuments that I was talking about, which does not have sponges. Not a problem. Uh, we got just under two stacks, so I think it's time to head home. Alrighty, let me get back to the slime farm where we can start setting up and draining the farm. Just quickly before we head off to the slime farm, Wanted to show you, there's all the sponges we managed to got. We managed to kill nine Elder Guardians, as you can see here by their heads. So it did pretty well, considering we only used six potions and three milk buckets. <laughs> I feel like a pro. <laughs> Return do we have. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there. Anyways, we are back at the slime farm, ready to start draining some of that ocean, I suppose. We also managed to just go and grab a couple things from the base, grab a furnace, some coal, so that we can start work on getting these sponges dry. So what we're basically going to do is just set up a tiny teensy weensy little auto smelter, nothing too fancy, almost exactly the same as the one we have in the base, but obviously just half of it basically. <laughs> so all we need to do is do that, do that do that doesn't really matter which way you place the chests but yeah i think i have ocd in fact i know i do get some coal in there thankfully we actually have a multiple of eight or a fraction of eight whichever word that is multiple of eight yes so we should use a perfect amount of coal without any wastage if we chuck all the sponges in so while we wait for those to do their things poof <laughs> we are back with sponges let's go and get these sponges put to use Put that away. Hmm. No. Waste of sponge, not waste of sponge. Nah. Well, yeah, you know what. So, nothing too exciting to this. Just go down a couple blocks. Uh, failed at that one. And, yep, basically that's all there is to it. There are probably other better more efficient ways to do this but I've done them before and they get incredibly boring so I thought I'd try something new Ooh. oh but this is not going as well as I expected it to but it's still definitely better than filling up this entire ocean with sand that much I can guarantee you folks uh, this is not my first time draining some sort of ocean or monument in Minecraft and this is probably or using sponges at least is probably a lot better than some of the other ways as you can see, probably went overkill on the size of this farm, but I think it's going to look really awesome when it's done. Um, we want to make some sort of like slime factory, so I'm planning, and this may not make much sense now, but what I'd really like is to ha almost have like a slime explosion. Like there's just so much slime being pumped out that it's gone into the ocean and you know, basically you don't even need to go down to mine it, you can just pick it away at the blocks that have sort of come out from it. Uh, at the top but obviously you don't want to spoil too much of that so just we'd like to show you the bold ones if I think it's more of a if no 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 it's a definite we'll we'll finish this farm and we'll show you that final product then 
Let me get to it. So I'm going to put you guys into a aerial view so you can get a much better sort of eye on what I'm doing. First half of the slime farm ocean drain funnage complete. As you can see, if I take a look around, we have done the first half. And now it's actually time for the real fun because we need the sand back and one of the easiest ways to get it is with the good old torch trick. The torch trick, that one, yep, that, that, that was it. So the torch trick is actually really easy. All you're gonna do, place the torches in your offhand, look at the bottom sort of you want to be looking at the block underneath the sand. Oh, something dropped. Anyways, <laughs> you want to be looking at the block underneath the sand and then quickly... Okay, well that one was a fail. But you can actually then press both of your mouse buttons and with any luck... Oh, I take that back. You do a quick left click, quick right click, almost at the same time. And you manage to get a torch down and most of the time I think there's something funny with the block updates, like you're doing it in one tick or something. But basically, you get to see this cool like, okay, well, this cool like waterfall effect. <laughs> but let's go again into the camera view. I think it'll look a whole lot better from the air. Hello, can you see me? Oh, no you can't, no you can't, okay. <laughs> oh lordy, sometimes I wonder at myself, but uh, anyways, it's good to have a laugh every now and then. But yep, as you could probably tell from the time lapse, we managed to get half of the ocean monument drained. But now, it is time to, well first of all have a nap, because I have an angry enderman. And then I'm going to do the second half off camera. I'm pretty sure you guys know how I basically go about doing this. And to show you any more of that, I think people may start running and screaming and losing their minds. So let me get to that and I'll be back once it's empty. We have done it, folks. There is a giant hole behind us, as you can see and it's only going to get bigger from here next steps in this process we actually want to go down with a shovel get rid of all that leftover sand and naturally generate some dirt and gravel and all that fun stuff and then get a beacon down so we can start doing some fun stuff so let me go ahead and do that and we'll catch up in a jiffy sand and gravel gone a whole bunch of clearing gone <laughs> well done at least but if you take a look over my shoulder, you'll see no gravel, no more sand. We've chopped off that little island and now it's time to get a beacon done. Once I can find myself, that is. Ah, we'll risk it. Let's do it. Sun setting, zombies going to come out. Not a problem. I think let's open chunk borders so we can see where the middle of this bad boy is. And I do believe it's over here. So now we just want to dig down quite a bit and yeah, let's quickly enter super fast mode and get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Man, don't you just love those sounds that the beacons make? Uh, I think it's also just a magical moment because you know you're gonna get some of these sweet sweet effect Oh, yeah, wait wait come on give me the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful man. I love haste too 
Anyways, let's get back up to the top and see what we can do and start flattening some of that land. Ooh, so excited. Okay, the spider's coming. Let's go. Let's get out of here. The great diggy diggy has begun. Take a look over my shoulder, folks. This is quite a process. That's already been like two or three hours worth of digging just to kind of get some sort of flat land. And if we actually go down, you will see that I've sort of bordered with an extra layer of this white concrete. And basically I really think it stands, it's gonna stand out really nicely with this lime green. Uh, eventually we'll include some slime in it as well. Cause like we said, we're going to have a slime factory and we want slime to be oozing out and you know, like taking over basically. So the slime is going to contrast with this white really nicely, but it does mean that I have to dig out an extra layer or an extra row on every single side, which is not ideal. But you know what? What's that going to mean in the greater scheme of things of this giant dig? So what we're now going to quickly go and do is I'm going to hop over to my camera account and do some more digging and let you guys see what it looks like from the top. What a massive job that is, I'm not going to lie, it takes it out of you and it, take it, up, it takes it out of your tools. I actually went through three mending pickaxes, which in between clips I actually had to go and yeah, fix them up. So quite a bit, what, three pickaxes a layer and I still actually need to do that bit at the back. Yeah, that's, it's not an easy job, folks. Like I said in that last or couple clips ago, you gotta keep yourself busy with other things as well. Watch a movie, watch some series, you know, listen to some podcasts, just do something to keep your brain busy. Uh, otherwise, yeah. But also at the same time, doing something monotonous like this and you know, just something repetitive is actually quite calming and passes the time, but it keeps you busy and yeah, I actually don't mind it at all. But I think I'm gonna get back to some more mining uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to do on camera, otherwise the entire episode is going to be basically me just chipping away at a giant hole. I think in the next episode we may go explore a Enderman farm! Woo! But in the meantime I'm going to get back to some digging and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. <music> Another one bites the dust, ladies and gentlemen. We did an absolute ton of digging there. So in total now we have basically done two layers and obviously what was left over at the top. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I think we managed to get a ton of work done. But I think that's where we're gonna call it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode with me, your host, Gaz the Grey. Just a quick summary, we did digging. And we did ocean monument draining. Anyways, in the next episode, I think we're going to change things up a bit because like I mentioned, yeah, you start getting tired if you play around with just one thing for too long. So I think the next episode, seeing how quickly we are going through pickaxes, we may do some villager exploration. Ooh. But anyways, let me go and actually just finish up, tidy up, and I will see you guys in the next episode. A huge thanks once more. And any feedback or comments are hugely appreciated. Now that we're done here, I will see you guys in the next episode. Once again, a huge thank you guys. Have an absolutely wonderful day or evening, wherever you may be. Bye for now.